Hello, thanks for joining me. I wanted to show you all a new frame I've been working on. The Rad Lion. Not the Rad Lion, it's the Rad Lion. So lithium ion, but uh, Lion for short. Because the intention of this frame is to carry two 6S lithium ion packs. One on top and uh, one underneath. Part of the intention of the design right from the beginning was to have these braces as part of dealing with the vibrations that were in this original frame. As I'm sure many of you know, the older freestyle quads always had these big wide arms on them. And I think one of the main reasons that a lot of the popular freestyle quads had such wide arms on them, even for five inch props, was because the wide arm helped prevent the arm from twisting, or the motor from twisting as easily um, as a, a mode of vibration. So I've tried to uh, deal with that in a different way rather than widening up the arm. I've just put uh, another piece of carbon as close to uh, perpendicular to it as I could. Uh, I guess maybe I'll show some I'll show some black box uh, clips here now so you can see what the uh, what the difference is when the the arms can't twist. That twisting motion that the motors can do where the motor actually tips tips side to side, it, it depends on the frame and the way things are balanced and how thick the carbon is and everything. But that twisting motion is, is behind a lot of the different vibrations that we have to deal with in quadcopter frames. Uh, and just because it's twisting motion doesn't mean it only affects yaw. It affects the yaw pitch and roll axis. If the motors were to do their twisting motions in unison, um, so say all twisting in towards the middle of the quad, all twisting in towards the middle of the quad and all doing it at the same rate, then you'd probably end up with a vibration that just made your quad do this, which your flight controller wouldn't really pick up on because I believe having the braces on here the way I've got them in, you know, the ratios of thicknesses of carbon. I believe this causes the motors to vibrate more in unison. There's not much variation between the how the front motors will vibrate and how the back ones will because the front and back ones are connected together with a very solid piece of seven millimeter carbon fiber. So this prevents almost any ability for the motors to twist on the ends of the arms. But it also forces the motors to do things more in unison. So if the front arms are going to bend up for a vibration mode, as they're doing that, they're going to be trying to lift these back motors up with them or else bending this seven millimeter thick carbon brace. So it ends up doing a little bit of both, lifting the back motor as well as bending the brace just a little bit. Remember, these are all very tiny, tiny motions in the, uh, in the movement or bending of the carbon fiber when you're talking about vibrations that are happening in, you know, a 200, 300 hertz range. So now I'll show you some more uh, black box clips here so you can, or shots here.
the, the braces are stiff enough that they're preventing a lot of the motion of the, the arms trying to vibrate. But I believe there's still some vibration happening uh, in the with the arms in unison, so with the quad frame doing this. So there's a vibration, but the uh, flight controller doesn't sense it. Uh, using these two 18650 packs, which give me 5200 milliamp hours at success, I've been able to get uh, 20 minute flights and 20 kilometers with this thing. And that's with carrying this lighter SMO 4K camera that only weighs about 30 grams. But then that's also with these uh, smaller 2506.5 motors. Uh, I believe they weigh about 30, 36 grams, I think, without the wires. So I've actually done quite a bit, even though I designed this as a, specifically as a long range quad, I've actually been doing quite a bit of freestyle flying with it. I've mostly been flying it with this one because it, it's a little bit heavy being 417 grams, this battery. But uh, 2600 milliamp hours gives me like seven or eight minutes of freestyle, like good solid freestyling with this thing and uh, it, this takes the uh takes the amp draw really well sometime in the next few weeks i'll be releasing this uh, frame of course on cnc drones again Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.